Hello, my name is Richard Gratton and I'm part of the Royal Academy of Improvement at Chesterfield Royal Hospital and I'm supporting an exciting project which is enabling clinicians to offer video appointments to patients when it's clinically appropriate. We were an early adopter of a system called NHS Attend Anywhere which is a system that's now used widely across the country with positive feedback from staff and patients. As a result of this, before the onset of COVID-19, we started offering some appointments to our patients by video and we had been in the process of expanding the pilot. However, our response to the pandemic changed our planning. We'd felt that more services might be able to offer video appointments and we're now working towards where all clinicians are going to be able to offer this type of appointment to patients whenever it's appropriate. The appointments work in exactly the same way as a face-to-face -face appointment, but because it uses a video link, these patients do not need to visit the hospital. Here are some of our clinicians to explain a bit more. Hello, my name is Dr Richard Genova, consultant, geriatrician and physician at Chesterfield Royal Hospital. When COVID-19 came to the UK, we were forced to find different ways to support patients. Suddenly it wasn't always safe or appropriate to see everyone face to face. We have been able to make good use of telephone clinics, but there are some situations when you really need to see someone to understand what is happening. Video consultations make this possible. Recently I reviewed a patient by video who had developed a tremor and was worried that it might be Parkinson's. I was able to carry out a number of assessments, including looking at the way the patient moved. They were able to even show me samples of drawing and writing. They were so relieved when I told them that I couldn't see any signs of Parkinson's. We talked about what I thought was causing them to shake and agreed a plan. All of this was done without the patient needing to leave their home. It was important that they trusted me. I feel that being able to see each other's faces helped with that because communication is about so much more than what we say. Video clinics allow us to support patients in ways that we didn't think possible just a short time ago. They help us to make better connections with the people we see. They also make it possible to create a safer environment for anyone that needs a face-to-face -face assessment. Hello, my name is Jules Ward. I'm a specialist support worker with the Learning Disability Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service, LDCAMS. Usually our team does a lot of community and home visits but during the pandemic, we've been offering video calls to the young people and families that access our service. We provide support in many different ways. Video sessions allow us to continue to do this. For instance, I offer relaxation sessions, yoga and deep breathing techniques. I also do a lot of educational sessions. We also offer observations over video and these work really well. As we're not physically present, we're not changing the dynamics within the environment. This can help us to have a better understanding of current needs, effects of medication, changes in behaviour, emotional well-being and so on. It's so important for young people to be able to see us, not just to hear us. Many of the young people we work with have communication difficulties. Some may use Makaton Sign Language and we wouldn't be able to communicate over the telephone. Being able to see each other's faces, hands and bodies is really important. I find that young people and families often appear more relaxed or less anxious during our video sessions. They've not had to travel or rush anywhere for our appointment. Using video calls is helping us to be innovative, but most importantly, it's helping us to continue to support the young people and families that access our service. Hello, my name is Dr David Brooks. I have also found video clinics a useful addition to my consulting toolbox, particularly when dealing with emotionally laden conversations. Perhaps the best example from my practice was a gentleman who was staying with his sister having returned from working overseas just before lockdown started. He had planned to move to London to stay with his son while looking for a house, but found himself stuck in Derbyshire due to the movement restrictions. He began to lose weight unexpectedly and when found to have suspected metastatic disease on a scan was referred to my cancer of unknown primary clinic. We organised a biopsy. A few days before the biopsy was due, restrictions were lifted. We decided that he would go ahead with the biopsy and move to his sons the next day. A week later we had a video consultation where I was able to see not only him but his wife, his son and daughter-in-law and while discussing his cancer diagnosis, the palliative nature of any treatment and his limited prognosis, it was so helpful to be able to see how my words were landing on each of their faces so I could better pace my communication. And it was particularly beneficial to him that he could do it all from the comfort of his son's home 
in London. So as I hope you've seen, video appointments give us a real opportunity to improve our services for patients. 92% of patients have reported their experience as being either very good or good. And them not having to come into hospital is saving them time and money, it's reducing unnecessary travel, parking charges and them having to take time off work. An increasing number of services are now able to offer these kind of appointments, including specialties such as CAMS, children's speech and language therapy, physiotherapy, respiratory and head and neck services. And we're soon going to be expanding this to other areas including cardiology, trauma orthopaedics, breast and our preoperative assessment service. You can find out more information about this project on the Royal Staff and public websites, but if you've got any questions, please contact me at the Royal Academy of Improvement.